Hello. Today I'm showing you NetBeans IDE for PHP's support for the Smarty framework. This support was added to the standard distribution in NetBeans IDE 7.1. To use Smarty framework in NetBeans IDE, you need the Smarty framework plugin. Go to Tools Plugins, open the Installed tab, and search for the Smarty Framework plugin. It's in the PHP category. Here you see that it is installed but not activated. That's because this is an all distribution of the IDE where I've never opened or created a PHP application. So I select PHP and PHP Smarty Framework and activate them. If they had not been listed in the installed plugins, I would look for them under the available plugins and install them from there. After the Smarty plugin is activated, a Smarty tab appears in PHP Options. Go to Tools, Options, that's NetBean Preferences on Mac. Go to the PHP Options and open the Smarty tab. Here you set global options for all PHP projects that contain Smarty template files. You can select whether the IDE parses Smarty files following Smarty 2 or Smarty 3 conventions. You can also set delimiters globally. Lastly, you set how deeply the IDE searches your PHP project directories for Smarty templates. Here is the sample app application downloaded from the Smarty website. I unzip the project into my Apache web server public directory. There should be a little light bulb by the project icon, meaning that NetBeans IDE recognizes this as a Smarty project, but there isn't. I open the directory and see that the template files are two levels down. So I reopen the options and change the TPL search depth to 2. Note that deepening the TPL search depth can slow down NetBeans IDE scanning PHP projects. Now I close the project and I reopen it. And the light bulb has appeared. Now I'm going to open the Project Properties. I right-click the Project's node and select Properties. Note that under Frameworks, there is a Smarty node. Here you can set custom delimiters for a project as opposed to globally. I'm not inter interested in doing that. Instead, I go to the PHP Include path and add the Smarty Framework files to the IDE's Include path. I browse for the framework, which I also installed in the web folder. Note that this is only used by the IDE's code completion. The path to the Smarty Framework library must still be set in your Smarty code, which you see me doing here. Here you see the sample's guestbook setup PHP file. In this section, I've started refactoring the code from Smarty 2 to Smarty 3. I'm just going to change the last line now. I'll comment out the old line and just copy this bit I need for the parameter. Now I'll start a new line. And code completion gives me this. And now code completion gives me the Smarty 3 functions including their documentation. I select set cache dir and I enter the correct parameter. I hit enter and the cursor moves to the end of the function where I close the line. Now I add a template file. I go to the projects window, right click the templates folder and select new other. In the dialog that opens I select the PHP category and the Smarty template file type. I click Next and name the template Sample Smarty Template. 
I click Finish, and the template file appears in the Projects window. Note that now that I've done it once, if I want to add another Smarty template, I only need to click New Smarty Template. Here's an existing Smarty template file. Have a look at the syntax highlighting. Now I'll show you Smarty function code completion. I type an open curly bracket and control space. A list of functions appears. I type a letter of a function and it narrows my choice. And when I select a function, its documentation opens. Lastly, I'll add a JavaScript function to show Smarty3 parsing behavior. I paste in script tags and start to type the JavaScript function. Call it my function and add a curly bracket, a couple of blank lines, and close the bracket. And between them, I press control space and you see JavaScript function code completion. Uh, I narrow it again by starting to type, select the alert function, uh, type in my message text, and there you have it. It's parsed as JavaScript. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. For more information about NetBeans IDE for PHP and about our Smarty support, see the Oracle NetBeans PHP blog, our tutorials, and our forum.